In the case of this young lady, she really is the person on the watch list. And TSC has asked him to get more info on her without letting her know that we're interested. Let's see how he handles it. Ma'am, this is government property, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Why? I'm not hurting anything. The park manager doesn't want anyone down here, and uh, I need you to leave with me. Well, sure, officer. I didn't think this would be such a big deal just taking some photos. It's a liability thing. The bureaucrats are afraid that you'll stub your toe on the property. And All right. Too. Look, we got 40 minutes left. I want to take a few phone calls. I also want to go through some of the history of provocateurs and government staging terror and what's happening with the militia movement right now, how the establishment is desperate to provocateurs some violent action. That's all coming up after this quick break. In the final 40 minutes, Infowars.com is the website. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to take a few calls right now. And then I'm going to get back into the history of government provocateuring. How the government doesn't just provocateur, they create and they command the white supremacists, the black supremacists, the Mecha, the Laraza, which means for our race, everything, those outside the race, nothing. The race. To get everybody fighting with each other while the big offshore banks basically rule over us and play us off against each other. But... Uh, we had a police officer send us some info. I don't. He gives us his name, but I don't want to give it on air. I may get him to pop in in a minute. I'm a lieutenant in a large sheriff's office in Florida. I had to show that video to all my roll calls approximately two months ago. Good job of bringing it out. Mark. And we'll see if we can get Mark on a line without using his full name just to pop in. We do have some other police officers calling in and former police officers. But let's talk to Steve in New York quickly, saying an officer gave him end game. My film about the world population reduction plan from their own words. So, again, the police, we're getting reports confirmed of them handing out my films everywhere. So we don't want to be enemies with the police. They're starting to wake up to what's happening. And the Hitlers that run this country are in a lot of trouble. Uh, Kirk in London, we'll get to you after we talk to Stephen Hollis. Okay, Steve in New York, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yes, hello, sir. I met an ESU officer in uh, New York. It's an emergency service unit. He's the... He, uh, the epitome of a jackbooted thug, as you would say. And I met him, and uh, I was going to give him a copy of the bomb reception. He's a friend of my father-in-law. And I'm talking to him, and he had copies of Endgame and all your movies in his pocket. And all his team, this is the most elite unit in New York City police. And he's high up there, and they all are on board, which I was, like, very ecstatic about. So you're board. saying, you're saying... One of the most elite teams in New York City. And, and folks, yes, you. Emergency, uh, emergency services unit. You can look it up. Yes, well, you. when I would, just to back this up, when I would go to 9-11 events five, six years ago, we'd have cops trying to trip us, firemen yelling at us, maybe half of them. The other half saying, good job, good job. Now, when I go to 9-11 events in the last two years, the cops are buying us food. They're slapping us on the back. Commanders are going, like you, Alex Jones. We've even got a few clips of this. And then they'll go, I don't want to be on camera. I mean, with the cops basically almost carrying us on their shoulders in New York because we show them all the footage of the police saying, get back. The government's going to blow up Building 7. I mean, that's their own officers. We interview the cops that say they blow up the towers. So the other cops found out about this. And then instantly, they're all waking up. So you're saying... He was totally on board with the New World Order, and now he has all the films. These are, these are the guys in the black uniforms. That's what I'm saying. These are the guys in the black uniforms. The, the Hercules teams. The, yes, you know. yes. The, and so the what were they like saying? Snipers. What were they saying? They were saying, uh, well, I'm talking to one, one individual. That's but I mean, you were saying that he was saying the whole unit's he, he's alive. a high-ranking officer in that unit. That's all I'm saying. But he was, at, his team is on board. And I was trying to give him, I, I tried to approach him very softly, because I didn't know he, how he came out. So, give him like popping the bomb reception, he's got Endgame, he's got Road to Tyranny in his pocket, he's giving it to me. And, and he I said, hey like, buddy, I don't need that video, I got Alex Jones yeah, videos right he's, here. He's <laughs> and give me Endgame, I already saw Endgame. You know, I, I try to soften him up a little yep. bit, you know, when I meet somebody. It's but, unbelievable, we're making history, thanks to people like you out there. Uh, anything else, Steve? Uh, uh, it's about it, Alex. Good to hear from you. Hollis is a former SWAT team member from Indiana. We're just taking random calls here, and we've got the folks calling in about this. Uh, Hollis, uh, what's your point today, sir? 
Uh, yes, sir. I, I just wanted to say I've, I've been listening to you for your, for years since 2001. I actually found out about you through David Icke, and uh, I was a former uh, SWAT team member here in Indiana. And uh, um, you guys woke me up. You woke me up to uh, I became I became conscious, and um, I was I was one of those guys that, like I heard an actress say in a movie, I would have jumped a uh, speeding motorcycle over over a train for any kind of you know that kind of stuff. And um, I woke up, I found out that um, there is a, 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 a cabal in this country that has taken over our country, and uh, I, have, I have turned uh, several officers, officers on to you, your information, and uh, they, they weren't aware of what's going on in this country. And uh, it, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. I, I'm, I'm, the, the country I grew up in, uh, that, that supposed to, we're supposed to... Uh, look out for people's rights, and we're doing the exact opposite. We're, well, and people not, hope... We're no longer uh, uh, land of the free. You know. Absolutely. Well, people hoped that Obama would fix that. Now they're finding out people hoped Bush would fix what Clinton did, and they hoped Obama would fix what Bush is doing. They're just front men and, 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 and puppets. And what did you think of the last guy uh, calling in about that unit of police waking up? Yes. Yes, it's a uh, it's a few a few officers I've I've spoken to, and it, like I said, they they're waking up and 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 recently with this uh, the, the 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 flu vaccine thing. Stay there. I want to hear about that. I want to hear about that when we get back. We are really fighting the new world order. We're